Hello, children of the earth. Welcome to Johnny Masters Reads the Scripture. We're going to read some of the passages out of the Bible, being that today is the Sabbath. Uh, in the same spirit, we're going to find out what treasures the good book holds. We turn, uh, moving on to Judges. Judges chapter 19, verse 20. Peace to you, said the old man. I'll take care of everything you need, only don't spend the night in the square. So he brought him to his house and he sped the donkeys. Then they washed their feet and ate and drank. While they were enjoying themselves, all of a sudden, perverted men of the city surrounded the house and beat on the door. They said to the old man, who was the owner of the house, Bring out the man who came to your house so we can have sex with him. The owner of the house went out and said to them, No, don't do this, evil, my brother. After all, this man has come into my house. Don't do this horrible thing. Here, let me bring out my virgin daughter and the man's concubine now. Use them and do whatever you want with them. But don't do anything horrible to this man. But the men would not least listen to him. So the man seized his concubine and took her, out, took her outside to them. They raped her and abused her all night until morning. At daybreak, they let her go. Early that morning, the woman made her way back. As it was getting light, she collapsed at the doorway of the man's house where her master was. When her master got up in the morning, opened the doors of the house, went out to leave his journey, there was the woman, his concubine, collapsed near the doorway of the house with her hands on the threshold. Get up, he told her, let's go. But there is no response. So the man put her on his donkey and set for home. When he entered his house, he picked up a knife, took hold of his concubine, cut her into twelve pieces, limb by limb, and sent her throughout the territory of Israel. Everyone who saw it said, nothing like this has ever happened or been seen since the day the Israelites, the Israelites came out of the land of Egypt to this day. Think it over, discuss it, and speak up. So if a man comes to your house to seek refuge and someone wants to take him out and rape him, don't let them do that. Instead, offer your daughter to the crowd. And that's the best way to deal with that situation. Which is a situation that occurs pretty frequently.